What's up, everybody? How's it going? Uh, new delivery today. Thought I'd uh, do you a quick video. It's actually going to be a bit of a comparison video as well, which is um, unusual for me. Normally, I'll just show off uh, the watch and box and whatever. But I'm going to do a bit, of, a bit of a quick comparison. So, Eagle Eyed Among Us. You can tell how the box is used. Yeah, used watch. Um, bay pad. Bit of design on the box. Let's pop it open, get into it, manual, interior box, there we go, nice hard, nice firm box, and there we have it, the pink babe, nice, nice watch, nice, nice piece. Um, yeah, so this is the standard release pink babe, um, I've already got one of them. One of the pink ones, but I'll talk you through that in a minute. So you've got pink top band, silver buckle, pink bezel, pink letters, white faceplate with a bit of pink writing, backlight is, if it focuses, the bait head, okay? White G button with a pink G. And then Ape Child Never Kill Ape in pink. And the R for registered in pink. On the back, got the uh, Tom for some action, Tom for some money, Tom to get. Ew. Um, down here, you've got the number 319 of 1000. Um, you've got to be real careful with these on fakes. I'll give you a, a couple of things to look out for. The adjust button, if it looks like that, it's fake. If it's uh, sticking out, it's fake. It should be in. It should be flush. You've got Saturday. A lot of times it's pushed over here, so it's under the left eye. It shouldn't be. It should be in the middle of the two eyes. These eyes here should be in the middle. Um, this the back plate. This little recess. This little uh, step up here is often too high, and often as well, this number doesn't look great. It looks really bad. Also, you want to look out for these on here. The type text one. Two starts just on hole number two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's finished by hole number seven. Okay, some of the things you need to look out for. So, I was saying I was going to do a little comparison. Two pink babes, right? This here is the one I already had, and this is the staff version. So, the staff version was open to some special people. Um, if you can see there, it's got the lightning bolts in the back, um, it's also got the white text around the bezel white lettering on the bands, white R. The back plates are exactly the same, but obviously you've got a different number. So there's a thousand standard and a thousand of the um, staff version. Uh, so you've got the numbers on the bottom. The staff one is number 952 of a thousand. This one actually got used and it's got a very, very slight cut on the bezel just there, but you know, I love a pink watch as you know. So yeah, it's uh, a must have for me. Um, apart from that, there isn't. There's no difference apart from the pink or the white, and obviously the backlight. So on the backlight, you've got the lightning bolts on the staff one, no lightning bolts on the standard. So if you uh, want to know the difference, generally the staff version is rarer, so it's a bit more sought after. Generally goes for a little bit more money um, because it was harder to get hold of at the time of release. Um, obviously now I can't imagine as many still in standard hands, but apparently. Apparently this one came from a staff member, but this isn't staff. It's not a staff babe, it's a standard babe. But yeah, it's an awesome, awesome watch. Um, I'm still looking for a couple. I want the purple one. Um, maybe the yellow one as well. If you've got any, hook me up. If you want to give us a, a message, let me know. Really, really like the purple one. So yeah, um, I hope you like that quick comparison and the quick fake babe spotting uh, test. And yeah, thank you very much. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I uploaded four videos yesterday, um, so check them out too. Quick wrist check, lime green, this pops. Look at it, that green next to the pink, beautiful. Peace out, everybody. Take care.